Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're all very welcome to a very special Castlery.ie news roundup coming to you live from the Trinity Arts Centre in Castlery. Uh, well done to Kieran and Terry and some lovely opening music. First and foremost, as usual, all of our viewers tonight, if you can just remember to press the like button at the bottom of the screen there, and whether you're watching live or later on, we'd encourage everyone to press the share button because we need to get this show out to as many people as possible over the next couple of days. So we're coming to you here tonight from the Trinity Arts Centre in Cassidy, an international standard art centre and performance theatre situated here in Cassidy, and we're coming here for a very special reason. Uh, similar to the Boxing Club, we're coming here tonight to raise some much needed funds for the Trinity Arts Centre. The link is on the bottom of the screen to make a donation, but we need to ensure that the running of this uh, centre is kept going over the coming months because it's been locked and we can't wait to get people back to the Trinity Arts Centre. So I'm going to hand you over to Breach for a moment. Now, hi everybody. We're absolutely delighted to have got here and I want to acknowledge Thawhi Gevisu to Gareth for the night. I feel like I'm in the Rose of Tralee. Maybe you should take off my sandals. Would that be a good plan? <laughs> Thank you everybody for tuning in. This is our final big round up for now. It was an extremely great experience to start off during the middle of COVID as a means of connecting people and in, in our own community. And it was extremely successful. So we'll have plans for later in the year maybe to go back into that again. But tonight, especially we're here, we have some very fabulous local talent that we're all very proud of. And Castlery has an awful lot of talent and musical generations here tonight to perform for us. So but without further ado, we're going to get on with the music. We're encouraging you all to donate. We need to keep this show on the road, lads. We're a long time at it. We're asking you to donate the price of a concert ticket, the price of a night out, a small or large, we'll be delighted to receive it. Thanks very much and we'll talk to you in a while. Enjoy your night. the grass grows wild and the wind blows free. Away, away, come away with me. And a home we will build in the meadow. Come, come, there's a wondrous land for the hopeful heart, for the wind. Come, come, there's a wondrous land. 
Thank you very much. Uh, Jacqueline Kenny, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Jackie. That was beautiful. Um, I know you weren't expecting this, but Jackie, what's it like to perform on the stage here in Trinity Arts? Well, it's a, it's a privilege, Gareth. It's just a fabulous, fabulous place, and it's, it's wonderful to see it, well, being used pre-COVID. But uh, certainly I would ask everybody to give what you can towards this gorgeous, gorgeous um, old church. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Fantastic. I, I think those sentiments, Jackie, are uh, echoed by the whole community. Uh, the committee here in Trinity Arts have created an unbelievable experience up here, and just compliments to you, the acoustics for your singing there were beautiful. So, uh, Jackie Kenny, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much, thank Jackie. You, and thank you. Just to reiterate what Jackie said, there's a link on the bottom of the screen, guys. If you enjoy the show tonight, please make a donation. The price of a ticket, uh, the price of a pint, the price of a meal. Um, this is a facility that the town needs, that the, people, the community groups in town need, and uh, we just need to generate the money to continue paying the bills, which haven't been able to be paid for the last couple of months. So um, we're just getting the next act set up. Uh, Bill Ha is uh, setting up here. Um, good evening, Bill, how are you? Hello, Gareth, how are you? Great stuff. I'll talk to you afterwards, no don't worry. You can continue setting up. Um, so everyone, don't forget to press the like button on the bottom of the screen there and share the button, and we'll get Bill underway here. I uh, just want to also compliment uh, Brendan Nugent, who's uh, operating the cameras with the able hand of Susan Gaynor here tonight. Thank God you have the supervision of uh, uh, Susan here, Brendan. Uh, she won't put you wrong. So if Bill is ready, we'll get the show on the road. And don't forget to click that button on the bottom of the screen, like and share and donate, guys. <laughs>
Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much. Come back here to me for a minute. <laughs> He says, pretends to be shy. Bill, I'm so delighted to have Bill Hot with us tonight. You have a long tradition of music from in your veins from Castle Ree for years and generations with your dad. We have indeed. My dad, my late dear God rest him, um, Patsy, he taught me. This is his actually. And uh, about the carols, Johnny, and we have late Christy Carroll. That's and right. lots of the family. And the Brass and Reed Brass Band. Brass and Reed Band, yes. Yes. It's kind of started there a lot of yes. it, so... Yes. Ah, it's lovely Good. to do it. It's lovely to be able to do it. It's yes. my pleasure to be here tonight to do it with you. Thank you. And I think that's what we're about here too in Trinity, is uh, keeping a venue alive for generations. It's great to see music handed down over the generations. Yes. And to see the like yourself still at it, keep going. Hopefully, and, we'll, we'll, and continue. And continue. And we'll see more. Uh, then, from. Uh, we'll hear from you again in a few minutes. We'll Thanks, Thanks, Bill. Thank you very much. Um, now I have something completely different. Where's Terry McGowan gone? Oh, he's behind me. Sorry, <laughs> ad lib, you can't beat live, live performances. Today in Castlery, we had a great day, a great day celebrating the same centenary of 1921. And we had a fabulous afternoon in the middle of the town. And there has to be acknowledged for the great work done by Castlery town teams and all the people involved in such a memorable occasion. Um, and the reason for it, we were acknowledging the men that fought and died for our independence in 1921, especially in this area, Cassari. So myself and Terry came up with a plan. Now, at the time, it sounded like a great plan, but I'm wondering now whether it was a plan or not. But as a child, I, I was taught to sing the woodlands of Loch Lynn. I'm not going to do all the whole thing. I'm just going to do a few verses. So we'll see how we go. We'll give it a chance. So I deserve money for doing this. Just saying, thank you. The summer sun was sinking low behind the western sea. The lark loud song was pealing sweet, but it brought no joy to me. For the one I loved is far away, he's left this tyrant's den. He fought till death and then he met the woodlands of Loch Lynn. A noble Irish man was he, John Bergen was his name. He was born in Tipperary, from Nina town he came. Sin. And his comrades too shall miss him true in the woodlands of Loch Lynn. <coughs> Dermot too was brave and true from the plains of Balnagar. He's missed at many the fireside in the homes both near and far. He's missed at home in Brackloon by his own dear kith and kin. And they let him have his parting shot in the woodlands of Loch Lynn. And they let them have his parting shot in the woodlands of Loch Lynn. Now that should be paid to go off. It took five, we should rehearse that, Terry, that's, anyway. So next up, we have a very talented and very beautiful Susan Igo, another lady with a long history and legacy of music in her veins. And we're so delighted to have Susan with us tonight. She's part of the Igo dynasty. So thank you very much, Susan. Have a way at it.
Martin. Susan, I go, everybody. Thank you very much, Susan. I know this isn't uh, scripted or planned or anything, but uh, um, listen, Susan has been a great supporter of the Cassari.ie page, and I know when uh, Breach sent out the messages there recently looking for some acts, like all of the acts here tonight volunteered without a second thought. Everyone put their hand up and said, yeah, we're prepared to support Trinity Arts and seeing if we can raise some money for them. Um, Susan, what, what would you say about the experience of performing here in the Trinity Arts Centre? Uh, well, I suppose we have performed a few times over the years um, with family members and with different groups. Um, so it's always been here, I suppose, pre-COVID as a good place to get together as a community. And of course, the craft fairs and, and all the kind of events like that. So it's, you know, it's always somewhere for people to gather locally. So I love it anyway. Exactly. Um, guys, we, we're broadcasting live on a number of pages here tonight. Uh, we have a link on the bottom of the screen looking to raise money for the Trinity Arts Centre. Um, we would just like to uh, ask the audience here tonight, especially those further afield, to send in their comments. Say hi to us. I think the furthest we've gotten a message so far is from Ballyhard and Glenamaddy. So hi to everyone in Ballyhard and Glenamaddy. But um, we want to hear from the people further afield. This is a perfect opportunity for the diaspora to get involved, to send a message home, and uh, make a difference at home to this beautiful art center. Um, I suppose an injustice to all of the acts here tonight that we don't have an audience. Um, this is so much uh, more enhanced of an experience when we have an audience here in the Trinity Arts Centre. And that's what we're working towards. That's what we want to see more people in the Trinity Arts Centre. And we want to raise money to make sure the place is still here for that. So if people watching, if you could just leave a message, we'll try and read out as many messages as we can shortly. I also just want to say uh, thank you as well to Keelan uh, McGowan. Keelan is here tonight, voluntary, another person voluntary here tonight, organizing the sound. And I know as we've been doing the roundups the last couple of weeks, a number of comments have come in about sound. So it's great to have an expert here tonight to make sure the sound is right and to do these artists justice. Uh, don't forget what we're here for tonight, guys. It's raising money for Trinity Arts. You'll see the message on the bottom of the screen. And thank you once again, Susan. Uh, we're just going to introduce Jacqueline Kenny once again. So Jacqueline, take it away whenever you're ready.
beautiful, Jacqueline. Thank, Thank you very you. much once again. Um, so, listen, I'm going to get the lady herself to sit down with me for a moment. Um, Breege. And we're just going to talk for a moment about Trinity Arts and about this whole project that they've managed to put together here. So, um, Breege, I'm young enough to remember this not being an art center. <laughs> so, I'm sure you've got some stories to tell about how it came to be. Oh, my Lord. So, we could write a book. I, our, our esteemed treasurer and long-time committee director, Maureen Claffey, is down there. She's refusing to come out the other side of the camera. But I've just put a few pieces together tonight, yesterday, thinking about um, this event, which is absolutely, we're so thankful to have. Um, I suppose we're like a lot of community voluntary groups all over the country now, that their, their fundraising and their, their main line of getting funds in are, is gone with COVID. Especially projects like this project is a very bespoke probably because while it's a multifunctional building, it is under the remit of arts, culture and heritage. So a lot of the funding that went, that was far different areas where they'd say there was COVID funding and funding to be got, we didn't actually fit under it because we weren't actually doing a kind of a social service into the community. So what we are doing though is offering, we have um, a very valuable jewel now here in the middle of Castlery. Um, anyone that knows us know, well, we're a long time on the road with this project through thick and thin. If we were to add up all the hours and time and sweat and labor that went in as a, a voluntary group of directors and a committee, it's invaluable to any community. And there's groups like us all over the country that are keeping the country going. It's the, the people that give of their time that keep communities like Castlery and places going. Um, and magnificent facilities oh, like Trinity absolutely. Arts. And, and like I suppose <clears throat> it's open to interpretation breach. You're saying Trinity Arts wasn't providing a community service. I'd happen to, be, I'd beg to differ mm. actually because like as any of the community in Cassery and I suppose the wider community would know, you know, the, the Clumbanoff plays, the Treen plays, yeah. the, the Cassery drama group, like this place is packed to the rafters and people are queuing up to get in because it's a whole new experience knowing the people on the stage performing these things. And, and as Susan mentioned, even the recitals, the uh, art demonstrations, like I suppose for our viewers who are further afield and the diaspora abroad, if they haven't been to Trinity Arts, this is something that we really want to get them back to as soon yes. as it's safe to do yeah. so. And I suppose the only way that's going to be possible at the moment is if they make a small little donation uh, the price of a cup of Not tea. Not that small. <laughs> the price of a cup of tea. <laughs> tea uh, the price of a pint. Right. The, yeah. the, the, the price of a ticket <clears throat> of admission to one of these events. But it is a community it service. Is. And just because it's not classified that way, yeah. we need this in Cassery. And the community and the wider community in Cassery deserve a facility like we this. Do. So Absolutely. Congratulations to you. <clears throat> and I think this... Um, Trinity Arts, this building in itself is a historic building within the town. And only far we took on the project uh, when we did, and in an extremely bad state of disrepair and dilapidation, we would now, it should be another ruin in the middle of a rural town. And it wouldn't have offered anything to anybody. The history would be gone and the potential for it. So what we've done here over a lot of years is um, we've given it, repurposed this building and repurposed it in such a positive way. And it shows what can be done when like-minded people get together. Now, I have to say, for a lot of people, when you get involved in community projects like this, we would have got most of our funding through Roscommon Leader Company, Roscommon County Council, the American Ireland Funds. Now, all this funding would have been for structural work, so to build this building up to what it is now. So that was, you, you know you know how funding works, I know how funding works, and anyone that's in, but for other people out there, any of those um, departments or those funding bodies, you have to have a percentage of your own funds called match funding to go with the pot. It's not always simple. Um, you don't get nothing for nothing. It's very complex. It's very time consuming getting the funding. I want to acknowledge tonight now the work of our treasurer and along Maureen Claffey, Mary Malloy, Valerie Rabbit, other people involved of different stages through this project, particularly Maureen, um, she has kept and pulled this out of the fire more times than not, and e extremely dedicated to it. I think that's what it's about. 
Um, get, we were very fortunate um, to a year or two ago that the Fine and family, originally from Castlery here, came on board as a family and um, made a substantial donation to the project, therefore paying off one of our bigger loans. But that, is, that, that means now, this, we, we were, if, if that hadn't been done, we would be going nowhere now. And we want to acknowledge the Fine and family and a lot of those people are very international business people. And I said to um, Declan at the time, is particularly, why, what, you know, we were stunned really, and but delighted that somebody was taken, believed in us, and give us credit for the work we've done. Um, but they can see the value, the asset of value of a centre like this brings into a town and a community. When you're looking to get people and families come to back to live in a place, get jobs into a place, get a sense of uh, vibrancy into a community, this is the kind of a facility you need. D definitely, and I don't think you could have said it better, Breach. Um, Breach is a very easy lady to interview because <laughs> once you start her off, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a matter of stopping, but <laughs> no, but like uh, on behalf of the Castlery Town team, a couple of years ago, we entered um, a competition. Oh, we did? We, we entered a competition, uh, the Pride of Place uh, with Bank of Ireland, yes. and how all of the uh, community groups, the voluntary groups in town got together, and we brought a couple of judges around to a number of the facilities we had here in town, and they were blown away, and like, I remember having a public meeting here and there was a, a lady from town stood up at the end of it and she says, it's great how the people from Cassery are always demanding a little bit more, more yeah. but we never actually sit down at any stage and say, wow, look what we've got here and look what we've got on our own doorstep. And just going back on what Breed said there about match funding, every penny raised here tonight, I can guarantee you that the Trinity Arts Committee will stretch that to the, the, the widest that they can. In terms of match funding, um, every 30 cent they get, they can actually usually stretch it 70, <laughs> maybe a little bit more. With, uh, but like, listen, there's a link on the bottom of the screen. Uh, we want people to click on it. Uh, we want people to like the post, to share the post. Uh, I know I've had a few more people commenting there tonight. There's a couple of people watching in uh, Tarma Manor. Um, I think there's a few people watching in Kilkern, but I want to hear from people in London. I want to hear from the people further afield because we've got international artists playing here tonight. We've got expertise on technology here tonight with the sound and the video. Uh, let's do this show justice tonight and let's raise a hell of a lot of money for Trinity Arts and do this committee justice. So uh, I'm going to take a few minutes off now and start reading some of the comments. He's not going to talk much himself, is he? <laughs> We could keep this Thank show going much. on all night, like. couldn't we? But, uh, so next up, we have the very talented Terry McGowan is back with us. And more than a story, the McGowan, this family of renowned expertise and years of tradition in music. So we'll let them have it. Give you all a break. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and donate, guys. Thank you. This time, I'm just going to play a uh, bit of a slow air one called Raglan Road. And then we're going to go into uh, a couple of reels, so we hope you enjoy them.
<laughs> Gareth is doing a marathon. Sorry, we're in the middle of something. Well done, Kieran, Terry. Uh, once again, brilliant. Lads, like, you've played in some of the finest theatres around the country. Um, well, Terry has anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and deservedly so. But, like, listen, um, what, what do you make of the Trinity Arts Centre in terms of performing in? What, what's it's your an experience? It's a lovely place. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah beautiful I place. Think. Acoustics perfect for performing, oh, like, so, like your There's music. Acoustics in it, Gareth. Brilliant. Luke carries in it, you know. Yeah. Um, both Kieran and Terry have been very um, forthcoming with their time ever since we started the roundup. Uh, they've come on numerous times. Um, they've, they've always helped with things that we were running in the community. So, first and foremost, lads, I just want to thank the two of you for showing up here tonight. But also, uh, okay. on behalf of the whole town team, thank you both for. Uh, given up of thank your time you so that. generously in the last couple of months. Um, you've made the experience for our viewers a lot better, and I think that's, yeah. that's what the whole thing is about. Well, it's a great thing for the community. It's for Castoreas' health, mm -hmm. for all the people that's gone away. You know what I mean, Gareth? Mm -hmm. um, yes. It's a way of keeping in contact with people and that, you know? Very much so. We, we've managed to link in with a lot of the diaspora over yeah. the last couple of months and uh, some of them are tuning in every week. I think there must have been a time delay or a change in international clocks or something because they're used to watching us at eight o'clock and there's not many of them commenting yet tonight and they're usually the first ones to comment. Yeah. But um, I suppose, Terry, it would be remiss of me not to mention the domain whenever I'm live to an audience yeah. with you and just compliment you on all of your ongoing work down the domain. Uh, it's a credit to you and it's a credit to the town. So thank you for your efforts on that. Again, I'll say, it's um, a team effort. There's a lot of people involved in keeping that park right. But it is lovely, and I'm hoping to do a session down there in August, on the 15th of August, at the Tatch Cottage, and just a few musicians around in the circle. You'll be there, hopefully, Gareth, <laughs> as well. But uh, yeah, it's a great amenity. It's a fantastic thing for Castlery to have a beautiful area like that for walking in, you know. We, we probably won't mention a free event in August while we're trying to charge the guys for watching this tonight. <laughs> so uh, before we mention, uh, we, anyone true. who dates, donates tonight, we'll get information of a free event happening in August. And that's, exactly, that's yeah. how we'll sell that one, Terry. As okay, Exactly. Listen, thank you very much once again, guys. Come here. Um, someone is just after walking in here, uh, returning something after a very successful event today. So this another impromptu performance, but I might get him up here for a moment to talk to me. Um, oops, uh, Pascal Fitzmaurice, uh, our local councillor and fellow town team member here. Um, I suppose Breege mentioned it earlier on today, uh, Cassery and the wider community out in Ballinlach, Lachlin, Clun, Bonneth, uh, celebrated the decade of centenaries today. And I suppose the reason Pascal has just walked in is he was leaving back a flag uh, the Irish flag, the tricolour, a very important flag for our community. And I suppose, before we talk about the event, Pascal, uh, you might just tell the audience why you're leaving it back here today. Yeah, Gareth, uh, we had an event uh, in town today in uh, connection with the decade of centenaries. And uh, today is the 11th of July, is the day of the truce in the War of Independence uh, in 1921. And it was a very relevant day to have an event. So uh, we were delighted that Breach Callaghan produced the flag of the 1st Battalion South Roscommon Brigade, which she had, and uh, her father, Johnny Costello, had it for many, many years, and it was entrusted to him by Gerald O'Connor. And Gerald O'Connor was the OC of the South Roscommon Brigade, and uh, the flag was used at all of the funerals. It was also used uh, many years beforehand, I suppose, during celebrations, but it was used at the funerals of all of the members of the South Roscommon Brigade when they were being buried, and it was draped on the coffins, and uh, Gerald O'Connor entrusted it to Johnny Costello to ensure that when all of the members or any of the members were being buried that the flag would be used. So we were delighted to get it today and to use it today at our event outside the courthouse. And uh, today being the day that it was, um, it was a very appropriate day to hold the event, but also it was, I was delighted that we got the flag for the event. Um, and, and I suppose compliments, Pascal, because uh, like the town team, Roscommon County Council, the decade of centenaries, were all involved in this, but like you took the lead on this particular project and I, I must compliment you, it was, a, it was a wonderful day and it was a wonderful event. 
And uh, for any of our viewers uh, who haven't seen it earlier on today, if you check out after the show tonight, uh, casserie.ie, you will see the full uh, commemoration ceremony that took place in the locality this morning. Um, now, just going back to it, we haven't forgotten the reason we're here tonight. The reason we're here tonight is to raise money to support the upkeep and maintenance and running costs of Trinity Arts Centre. <clears throat> Gareth was singing there earlier on during the day. I had to stop him, but he, he's, he's got a little frog in his throat. But yeah, we, ha we had a, a great day today, and I'm delighted that we're here in Trinity Arts. And of course, um, I, I'll roll back the clock a little bit to April uh, 2021, and uh, myself and Sean Raftery done a number of uh, uh, interviews uh, in relation to the decade of centenaries, and one of those in relation to James Mond, who was uh, killed in South Park. And uh, James Bond had a, a very, uh, I suppose, a relevance to the church here. Uh, James Bond was actually a, a, a Presbyterian, and he was a member of this church here. And uh, James Bond, James Bond uh, was being agitated by the members of the Black and Tans. They had um, shot a number of his hens. They had uh, attacked his farm a few times, and uh, he was very, very annoyed about that. And he went into the local RAC station and complained about it, and uh, the past no heed, they still ca called out to him. He was also involved in land agitation himself because he had a very small holding. And um, then um, when it came to Sunday worship, he was here in this church with his sons and his wife, and uh, they played God Save the King, and uh, he walked out with his sons and uh, in protest at the way they were being treated. And uh, I suppose from that, it was seen as a huge insult to the crown and to the king and uh, he was targeted for that and a short time later he was taken from his house they called looking for one of his sons and the son refused to go out and he was afraid to go out and James said I will go out instead of him and he was taken outside and he was shot and killed and he was dragged up and down the road behind the lorry and um, I suppose that's the connection with Trinity Arts for him it was a, a terrible event and it was very unusual as a Presbyterian that he had been killed so Trinity Arts Building here, it's, uh, it has a huge uh, history and going back a long, long way uh, to many, many different people. And uh, so I'm delighted to be here this evening supporting the event. And uh, it's a fantastic building. I remember being in here with Breege and Maureen and a few more of them. And, and, and it was, a, I suppose, a creaky old building. The windows were blown in and there was water coming in through the roof and there was no floor. And uh, I thought they were mad, but they weren't mad because they've done a fantastic job and what the building we have here today is a huge and beautiful building that was restored and it's a beautiful theatre and it's a, a testament to all of those people and their determination to, to restore this building. And uh, we have it here as a jewel in, the, in our town and it's something we can be very, very proud of. So I just want to appeal to people, it's most important that you support Trinity Arts here tonight because without your support, I suppose this building will fall backwards and it may not get the same use it needs and it may not get the same, I suppose, level of help that it needs. So uh, well done to you all on, on, on doing all you have with the building and I hope you uh, get plenty of money tonight. So I'm appealing to people, make sure you support the event here tonight. Thank you very much, Pascal, and thank you. That thank was, uh, wasn't was scheduled, but fair dues to Pascal. While he was here, he came up. Um, in January, we started the news roundup as a, a method of trying to take away the, the, the bad news that people were listening to on a weekly basis and a daily basis and just deliver some announcements locally, rem remind a few people of the birthdays and anything that was going on in the locality. I think the first show might have been 12, 13 minutes, um, gradually got longer and longer and longer. And it was all down to the audience, um, making recommendations, interacting with us, suggesting acts. It was all down to the voluntary people that came in and uh, were interviewed. And listen, tonight's the last night of the roundup. Breach says we may come back in. We're definitely coming back again. We're gonna come back bigger and better. We're gonna come back bigger and better, probably in September. We're going to work on the format, but even Ryan Tuberty takes a break for a few weeks over the summer, so that's why we're taking a few days off over the summer uh, from the roundup. Um, we're going to just get ready while there's a few more acts getting ready to go. Bill is warming up over here once again. But uh, anybody watching, no matter where you're watching, for look at the link at the bottom of the screen. Please remember to like and share the post, but at, at some stage tonight, 
make a small donation to Trinity Arts and put it on your to-do list when you are visiting Castlery and when it's safe to do so once again. So over to you, Bill. Well, thank you, Gareth. We'll do something a little different. A little bit of Neil Diamond, folks, hopefully, yes. All our viewers will sing along. If you know it, feel free. Money talks, but it don't sing and dance and it don't walk. As long as I can have you here with me I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans, babe Honey, is sweet But it ain't nothing next to baby's tree But if you pardon me, I'd like to say We'll do okay forever in blue jeans you know, folks, sing with us. Come on, here we go. Baby, tonight. Baby, tonight by the fire all alone, you and I. And nothing around but the sound of my heart and your side. Ready, Bridge? Jack, come on. Money talk. But it don't sing and dance and it don't walk As long as I can have you here with me I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans with me Honey, sweet But it ain't nothing next to baby's tree And if you pardon me, I'd like to say We'll do okay Forever in blue jeans with Faye See, you know this one? Here we go! Oh, Crack and Rosie, get on board We're gonna ride till there ain't no more to go Taking it slow Lord, don't you know how to find me a time with a poor man's lady Pitching on the twilight train There's nothing here that I care to take along Baby, a song To sing what I want With no need to sing, please do man With a happy tune You ready, girls? Oh, my love, my rosy child you got the way to make me happy You and me, we go in style Crack the road, you're a store-born woman You make me sing like a guitar hunter Hang on to me, girl, our song keeps running on Play it now, play it now, play it now, my baby What a beautiful noise Coming up from the street It's got a beautiful sound It's got a beautiful beat What a beautiful noise It's going on everywhere Like the clickety-clack of the train on the track It's got a rhythm to spare What a beautiful noise it's a sound that I love And it fits me as well Just like a hand in a glove Yes it does, yes it does Now you all know this one Here we I can't begin to know when, but that I know it's going strong. 
was in the spring And spring became the summer Who the believe you come along Everybody, come on, here we go Hey Touching hands, reaching out Reaching down Touching me Touching you Oh, sweet Caroline Good times never seem so good Life, it is life To believe they never were Sweet Caroline Sweet Caroline Yeah, little medley tunes from Neil Diamond. Thank you, folks. Here's another one. We have to do a couple more, so we'll do this one. Breeze says keep going. Could have been whiskey, might have been gin. Could have been three, four, six packs, I don't know Look at the mess I'm in, my head is like a football I think I'm gonna die Tell me, me, oh, me, oh, my Wasn't that a party? Someone took a break from me Wore it like a hat I saw someone under my kitchen table Talking to my old time cat They talking about a hockey And the cat was talking back Along about then everything went black or Wasn't that a party? Sure it's just my memory Playing tricks on me I think I saw my buddy Cutting down my next tree Could have been the whiskey Might have been the gin it Could have been three, four, six packs I don't know Look at the mess of me My head is like football I think I'm gonna die Tell me, oh, me, oh, my, wasn't that a party? I did the door time, they went a little far. They're sitting in your back cloud blowing on the side of somebody's old police car. So you see my honor, it's all in the fun. The little bit of track beat down on Main Street was just to see if the cops could run. I wanna like to see you in an alcoholic case. I could use those 30 days to recover from the party. It could have been the whiskey, might have been the gin. It could have been three, four, six packs, I don't know. Look at the mess I'm in, my head is like a football. I think I'm gonna die. Tell me, me oh, me, oh, my. Wasn't that a party? Wasn't that a party? Wasn't that a party? Wasn't that a party? The tile. And so talented. Thanks a million, Bill. You're very welcome. And we have to mention all the people in the music industry, like Bill, um, that have been out of work and out of being able to perform over the last 18 months. So there was a huge, a huge piece of you know our community, our uh, an area, deprived of getting back on the stage. And it's still quite um, uncertain when that will happen. But when it does, we will be ready for that. So the Like a Trinity Arts here is a fabulous venue for a private hire, for any sort of event people want to get in touch with us. We have room hire. We have a, a fabulous space that's very adaptable for any event. So we just need people to keep in touch with us and get on touch with us. It's a very intimate setting for um, concerts. We have a great drama tradition in Castle as Garrett said, and that's always been successful. So we want to build on that. There has been a comment from somebody about the, the window here at the back. So this is a, the original stained glass window. This window was 200 years old. 
So when we took on this project, this was warped. There was ivy grown in through parts of it and it was in a very bad state of repair. We, through funding again, we were able to get it um, restored by a, um, you know, a bespoke conservation um, glass uh, person who did a fabulous job on it. As with the other windows in the buildings, we have preserved a lot of their original features, which are beautiful and which, which lend itself to the atmosphere in the building. Now I have the lovely Jackie back with us again. And I have to say about Jackie, she's such a, she's such a fabulous jewel in our community because all through COVID, um, people have suffered, people have lost in our community, have lost loved ones and this whole area around funerals um, and what has gone on. And Jackie has done a lot of the singing and it has enhanced and comforted so many people. Her talent is endless like, and we really appreciate it, Jackie, for all that you do. And she's here again tonight, giving her time as everybody else, voluntary, and we really appreciate it and thank you. So I'll leave it in her capable hands. Thank you. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from Glen to Glen and down the mountain summer's gone and all the flowers are dying tis you tis you must go and I must bide but come you back when summer So thank you, Jackie. You're very good. So we're we're nearly done. We've ha had a good bit of um, time going on. So we just want one lady to come up here with us for a minute. We've we've been at it for the last how many months? At, with our roundup. Um, 
what myself and Susan have had to endure isn't worth talking about with this fella. But anyhow, we, the, the reason that he's wearing this get up is because we kept slagging him that he was he never dressed himself properly. So we're so proud of his mother for making him wear his confirmation and outfit. Your and your wife, oh, that's yeah. right. He actually has a wife, which is a major miracle. But anyway, Susan, a few words. Um, thanks very much for having me. I've been working behind the camera, um, my preferred place. But uh, we've thoroughly enjoyed the roundup. Um, what started as something small, for a couple of weeks um, has brought us into seven months and we've had the best crack and the best fun and people have been so good to us and have sent us loads of messages and um, texts and calls and emails and without you it wouldn't have happened so thank you very much we've been able to support two amazing causes in the town um, the Cassidy Boxing Club a couple of weeks ago we had a great show down there and there was nearly 3,000 euro raised for that which is amazing and it'll keep the lights on in the club down there and um, they have produced amazing boxers including our own Olympian Aoife O'Rourke which is fantastic so um, we're all sending our best wishes to Aoife uh, who's over in Tokyo at the moment and um, so thank you all who support the Cassidy Boxing Club and I would just want to thank you tonight um, I've been keeping an eye on the GoFundMe page and you're fairly flying in with the donations and it's amazing so even when we finish up I know a lot of people want to enjoy the music and don't want to be clicking through to another Facebook page or a GoFundMe page so um, when this finishes tonight in a few minutes um, please do um, click on the link and donate what you can um, whether it be two euro five euro 25 euro it doesn't matter it all helps um, and it keeps this amazing facility open and like Pascal said I was here one day with them I think they brought down a minister or something God help him and landed him into the middle of was it Bertie Bertie Hearn and landed him in here to the middle of a room and the water spewing in from the roof and they had great plans and I'd say he thought they were mental um but they're here and we have a roof and it's fabulous um, and they have a fantastic heating system and beautiful windows so let's keep the show on the road donate what you can and thanks very much for all your support during the roundup the last couple of months we hope to be back in September if you want us back in September we'll be back for the crack um, and I've had great fun with these two and uh, if we can get um, a donation of 500 euro Gareth has agreed to do a little strip tease for us give you a thousand not to do it. Um, we won't go down that route. Uh, it's the watershed actually, isn't it? Um, listen, be, before we go, um, I just have to compliment uh, Breege and Susan and all the work they've done behind the scenes on this. And actually, I know now why you're on the screen with me uh, the last couple of weeks, because I suppose between the three of us, we're well able to keep going uh, unscripted, because tonight was completely unscripted, actually. Uh, we haven't had the comments in front of us. We haven't had the script in front of us. But uh, um, listen, it was a pleasure working with you the last couple of months, even though we tried a couple. Now, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I have great plans for you in September. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But listen, um, going back to the reason we're here tonight, uh, compliments once again to the Committee of Trinity Arts, uh, to everybody watching further afield. You have to see this place. You have to be here for a show or a performance at some stage. That's for your Kessary bucket list in the near future. But in the meantime, we do need to raise a small bit of money for Trinity Arts Centre. Um, we got a great response to the fundraising for uh, Kessary Boxing Club, um, and only rightly so. Um, all the clubs in the locality are doing their own fundraising, like all the clubs uh, throughout the country at the moment. But um, let's keep the show on the road for Trinity Arts. Once again, I'd just like to, on behalf of, I suppose, Trinity Arts, thank Bill Ha, uh, Kieran and Terry McGowan, uh, Jacqueline Kenny, Susan Igo, uh, Brendan Nugent, Keelan McGowan, uh, the treasurer down there, Maureen Claffey, and the main man, uh, he's fresh off the organizing and the running of the Decade of Centenaries earlier on, but Peter Dolan, the man who keeps the show on the road behind the scenes here in Trinity Arts. Um, I was only thinking there actually when I went down the last time. One of the last times the Castry Drama Group were on stage up here, we did Guests of the Nation, which was about the War uh, of Independence. And I actually played an English officer and died right there. So Pascal never mentioned that earlier on today, but it could definitely happen. Yeah. So I think, I think Breed, you have something special. Yes, just as to say what we sound like um, 
a bunch of politicians thanking each other for all the wonderful things we've done. But look at we, Castle Ree, we we're living in a fantastic community. We're unendlessly proud of it. It's great to see uh, you know, new blood and new generations getting involved and keeping our community going. We're always looking for new ideas here in Trinity. If you're interested in getting involved at any level, at any ideas, let us know. Come on board. Um, the hard work and the heavy lifting is done now around here with this facility. So we're looking for people to make it fly now, make it work. And um, we are so thankful for all your donations and to all our patrons over the years, the people that invested in us and gave us donations when there was nothing, only a ruin here. They're the people, that's what you call faith. That, is, that was such an inspiration to us to keep going. And we really appreciate that. So far tonight, that's us done. I'm going to let the beautiful McGowan brothers here to play us out and they've been un they're so supportive and so generous all the time with their time so thank you all i hope you enjoy the evening and we'll see you back in september and stay safe and brendan nugent is going to be able to sleep sound tonight know that i won't be talking to him for another while <laughs> our singing god bless and thank you all good night thanks to uh, gareth susan and breach there for great show and fair play to them and talking about brothers, I'd like to play this couple of reels, especially for our own brother back in London, in, he's in Lewisham. So hopefully somebody will get the word to him. A couple of reels make the Sligo made and Miss McLeod's.